Kolebu Community Chapel celebrated its 50th anniversary over the last week. The church, which was started in 1967, 10.50 this week. The church organized seminars, teachings, and prayer meetings over the week to celebrate the activity. On Saturday, members went on a float, singing praises to God, dancing and extolling the good name of God, His goodness, and the importance of salvation. At the Thanksgiving service on Sunday, members of the church in the diaspora joined members in Ghana to celebrate. They celebrated with thanksgiving and sang praises to God. Professor Kunute Ahulu, a globally known sickle cell physician and researcher who founded the church, then known as Accra Chapel, preached the sermon for the day. God takes my filthy rights, eh? takes my filthy rights away, puts them on the Lord Jesus Christ, punishes him for having filthy rights, and he takes his robe of righteousness and puts it on me. That's why the thing is good news, even though it was killed at Gogata, it was for me. Bearing shame and scoffing rude, in my place condemned he stood. Seal my pardon with his blood, hallelujah, what a savior. That is the savior. So please, 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 you know you are not saved, eh? want to be saved. Ask the Holy Spirit to come to you and say, Lord, make me want to be saved. Professor Konote Ahulu spoke to Ghana Business News after the service. This is what he had to say. Well, except to say that a, a, a church in Accra, where we had been worshipping for two years, uh, one Sunday, whilst we were in the church waiting to have Holy Communion, uh, the pastor, an American pastor, came to tap us on the shoulder and said they had decided that because we had not been totally immersed in baptism, we couldn't have Holy Communion. And so we left the church and my wife, while we were walking to the car, said to me, uh, darling, why can't we start a church now, now? And we started the church at the, on, at the Kolebu compound, um, in the classrooms. We went to see my Achimota school classmate called um, Ajua Walter Hose, who was the head of the nurses training college and we told her that we wanted to start services um, every Sunday and she immediately agreed and gave us the classrooms and that was where we started the church um, it was amazing because a lot of people came to the church even some missionaries in town, um, when they came to Accra, in the country when they came to Accra, came uh, to worship with us. It was a place where the word of God was preached clearly, uh, why our Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ came. Um, he came to save us from our sins. There is a false, false um, ideology that if you uh, um, a scientist or a medical man or a professor you should not accept the historicity of the Lord Jesus Christ the Lord Jesus Christ is an historical phenomenon uh, he did things which no scientific study can fathom uh, when he says I am the life and the truth there's no scientific way of explaining the life and the truth 
when he says, I'm the son of God, there's no scientific way to explain the fact that he's the son of God. There's no scientific way to explain um, the virgin birth or the resurrection. So uh, no scientist has a right to dispute the historical facts of the Lord Jesus Christ. We also spoke to the pastor of the church, Reverend Emmanuel Osain Ado, and he said this. Yeah, what we want to celebrate is the faithfulness of God. For me, you see, this church started as a fellowship, and I joined it at a time when they were fellowshipping in the classroom. And uh, I know the, this, there were no proper structures and other things, and by God's grace now, we can talk about, we didn't have even a, a permanent pastor. Um, as time went on, we began to have pastors and defined um, structures for us to grow to where we are. We are celebrating that this church is still in existence because things have happened that could have broken up the church, but still, the church is still going on. And so we are thanking God for that. My message to the church, to Ghanaians, is that Jesus still is in the business of saving souls. That is the main message I have for the nation and the world. The reason is that today we have put our faith in material things. We have even put our faith in governments. We have put our faith in um, the people that we know. And sometimes they fail us, you see. Um, it is Jesus who does not fail us. When we put our faith in him, the rest of it, we resort to him. He grants us wisdom. Even when I want to do investment as a businessman, I pray and the Lord will, will give me wisdom as to where to invest. Some church members, both old and young, also spoke to ghanabusinessnews.com. Um, I was born in Tuakra Chapel um, three decades ago. Um, it's been a, a very good experience being a member of the church. Um, growing up from Sunday school, through Awana, through the youth service, and now a member of the Young Adults Fellowship. Um, it's been a good journey. The teachings from childhood, the Bible study groups, has shaped us into who I am now. And um, looking into the future, um, we hope that the church will grow and become um, a stronger church. We'll be able to evangelize more to the communities in Kolebu and um, this is the last call. increase in number also. Um, the leadership of the church have kept encouraging us and that has kept us in the church. And as we celebrate 50 years, we are hopeful that the next 50 years we'll have a much bigger church. Oh, I'll say the church has really helped me in um, knowing about the salvation of Christ and about eternal life. I have learned more about God's word. Um, my spiritual life has grown in this church. Yeah. Well, I think one reason I joined the church was because of the word. It's like every Sunday is something you should look out, like you look forward to because you know as you are coming, the word you are coming to hear is just the right thing you have to hear and it's not like these days when, I mean most of the word I looted but this is one place I can see that the word of God is taught like unadulterated word of God, just the right way it's supposed to be taught. Like she said, I would want the church to have more branches and the foundation of the church to remain. I think one of the things that the church focuses on is on the word of God. I want that to still remain. I would want to see that the church has expanded and we are doing more out there. We are reaching out to more people outside the church. I've been part of this church for the past 25 years and it's been a wonderful experience since I joined this church. So from Sunday school, I want to drama group and then all that. And then at this point I was in this wonderful location. It brings good memories. And when I watch my life throughout all these years and where we've come so far, I believe our culture will be going place and it will be bringing the cities um, and, and, and the neighboring communities together in the sense that we are um, afraid to be um, strengthened and then we'll have other um, um, f uh, forms of um, church program that will unite the community together. So to it, I think it's been a great experience and I'm happy to be part of this church and then I'm doing so. Immediately, apathy, you know, you don't see people really committing themselves. Right? You can see it from 
what's the cause? Well, um, one of the main things I will say is the teaching we are not getting. You know, the 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 church was built with teachers, teachers who were seasoned Christians who know the scripture, and uh, they come here and teach. And therefore, people felt that this is a place they should come. But at that time, there wasn't any good place where they could go and worship. So people were coming all the way from Lagos. Them, uh, far places. It doesn't matter where you live. You know that when you come here, you'll be taught, you'll be fed. And that's the most. And then there will be all embracing. The brethren love each other. This has been Emmanuel K. Dubivi reporting for GhanaBusinessNews.com.